Hello everyone, I'm Erin Beatty, the author of Fairtrone and Ferrat, or as we call it in the U.S., The Trader's Kiss, and I'm here to answer some questions that readers have sent in, so here we go. First question, um, where did you get your inspiration for The Trader's Kiss, and how did you keep an overview in the fantastic world? So, um, the seed of the story is combining the idea of arranged marriages with pairing people based on personality, like you have in E. Darlene or Parship. And I started thinking that if women took charge of the whole process and started using it to protect each other, they could essentially rule a country. But, um, but such a system could also be exploited. Um, and everything grew from that and using my general knowledge of um, history and science and psychology. Um, as to how I keep track of it all, the vast majority is in my head and not written down. Um, that's probably a little dangerous, but I get bored every time I try to make character descriptions and such. Um, I mean, everything about these people came from my head, so um, I don't think I'd forget it. Also, they're all my friends, even the nasty ones. Um, I create a timeline while I'm editing, but only to keep the tiniest details right, like moon phases and uh, travel time and dates. Uh, I'm not sure I'd recommend that for writers, keeping it all in your head, like I do. Uh, next question. When did you start writing and why? Was it to pass time or rather out of passion? I started writing the first book in May of 2014 and it was the first writing I had ever done outside of schoolwork or a blog or an article. Um, it was both out of passion and boredom because when all my kids went to school I had a lot more free time and I kind of I floundered a little of trying to find something to do and I tried a lot of different things before I got the idea for the story and but it quickly became a passion after that. Next. How could you, as an author, think of such new and extraordinary world and how do you spice up your story properly? Um, I look at our own world and our own history right now and I ask a lot of what-if questions. Um, building a world or a story is a lot like engineering or construction. Uh, the heaviest parts of the story have to be supported and you have to pay attention how everything is connected and how everything influences everything else. And I find that fun. Uh, who is your favorite character in The Trader's Kiss and why? So I'm going to say I really like Captain Quinn because he is a lot like me. Um, we're both analytical and self-contained and we always are wanting to improve and we both have a huge fear of failure. Um, we like things direct, we like them clear, and our emotions run really deep, but we don't really express them very often. Uh, last question. How long did it take to plan the world and how did the plan look like in the end? I feel as if I discovered the world more than made it or that I planted a seed and let it grow. Um, the depth of the roots and the complexity of the branches of constantly amaze me. Uh, I started with a small idea of how the second book would go, but the third book completely surprised me as to how it went. And so that's it. Um, thank you so much for your questions, and I hope you enjoy Fatron and Ferrat and the next books when they come to Germany. Bye!